Have you ever watched people meal prep and think, oh my God, that's such a good idea, but you actually never move to actually meal prep? Yeah, me too. I have all the intentions in the world when I see people doing that. I'm like, oh my God, okay, so I need to get this and I never do it. I, I can't be the only one. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. So let's just hop right into it. So as you all know, uh, at least most of you, that I am on my second return, does that sound right? My second return to Wagobi. Um, previously, if you look through my videos, um, I lost 50 plus pounds from Wagobi um, and then I stopped as of last April, I was never able to hit my full goal. So I stopped in last, I stopped, I stopped last April due to insurance change. So my insurance no longer covered it. And so I kind of had to stop on my own. And speaking of that, I feel like if they're gonna, like I was at the maintenance dose phase, so I was at the 2.4. And so I had to go from 2.4 to just nothing. So um, I, know, I know that this is considered like a long-term drug that you can take, but it seems to me if you're going to get weaned off, then it would be nice to kind of go back down, I mean, I guess. I'm not a doctor, but I mean, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of come in and let you guys know. So I'm on my third week with... Um, the 2.5. Uh, let me just say that I have a friend who her situation was similar to mine. Her insurance changed. And so uh, she was off for uh, maybe six months. And so she got back on it. But her doctor started her back off at the 2.4. And I was like, are you sure, you know, that this is okay because that's such a strong dose and your body has to try Tate. Is it the right word? I don't know why I can words but try take up to that level um and so she said oh let me check with my doctor she checked with her doctor and her doctor said that was fine and so obviously she's going to take her doctor's recommendation um she did that and unfortunately she's okay but she got violently ill with nausea and vomiting like couldn't stop vomiting um and you know she had to go to the er and get uh, fluids like it was um it was it was it was crazy it was crazy so you know if you've been off of this drug for any significant amount of time then I implore you to you know make sure that your doctor is aware that you know how your body needs to go because sometimes they may just okay here you go here you go I'm not saying that everybody's doctor does that but I mean obviously some of them do or she wouldn't have you know had that reaction um, my doctor did like I said start me off at the point two five so this video is just kind of let you know um, how things have been going for me on the point two five, and then to answer some of the questions that I uh, have been seeing in the comments. So just want to thank you guys for that. All right. So like I said, it's my third week. Um, have I lost any weight? No, I haven't lost any weight so far. Um, I actually have to go back and watch some of my earlier videos so that I can kind of compare. And so I found some very interesting things that have occurred. So first, the fatigue that I was feeling like initially, I haven't had any fatigue. What? What? How? No fatigue. No fatigue. Now, let me get my water here. Dry mouth. Yes, I've been like guzzling water. Um, but yeah, it's just weird, right? Like I have not had any fatigue, so I don't know what that is. Um, and then to answer another question, you know, I'm, I know a lot of you guys are like, you know, what are you doing with the fatigue or how are you combating the fatigue? Basically, electrolytes, um, B12, a lot of those things will help with fatigue and then obviously, um, you know, staying hydrated with water. Now, there may be some of you who are trying those things and you're still experiencing the fatigue. It's not a one size fits all. It really just kind of depends on your body. So my friend that I mentioned earlier, like when she first started the drug, I was like, how's your fatigue? How's your fatigue? She's like, I don't have any fatigue. I'm like, how's your nausea? She's like, I don't have any nausea. So like her initial one, she didn't have any of those symptoms, but I did. So going back, I don't, I don't know, but I just thought that that was something um, good to mention. Um, also, uh, the question, intermittent fasting. Am I doing intermittent fasting? So 
or the question was, what diet am I going to be doing with this? So like I said in my previous video, uh, what I wish I knew when starting my goalie, I will go ahead and link that somewhere up here. Um, I am counting calories like from the from like at the gate. That's the first thing I'm doing. I'm counting calories. I already knew what um, vitamins and things like that I needed to take. And that could be a reason why I'm not feeling um you know, the fatigue, because I was already taking these things anyway, every day. But the first time that I did it, I wasn't taking any of the vitamins that I'm taking now. I was literally just taking a one a day. That's all I was taking. So I already had that in my system. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. Um, to go back to the question, uh, what diet am I taking or doing? I'm not really doing a diet. I'm just watching what I eat and then trying to choose, obviously, healthier choices most of the time not all the time um now i will say your bat your body your body because i'm big <laughs> your body naturally wants to do intermittent fasting like because you can go so long without eating so you know i guess i'm kind of doing it in a way just kind of a lazy intermittent fasting if you will because you know i may stop eating at six just because i'm not hungry and then won't eat again until like the next morning around eight o'clock. So um, that could be part of it. So yeah, intermittent fasting seems to just want to come on naturally. Now I am noticing that I am having some bloating. I was on a probiotic, but I ran out. I didn't really see that it was helping too, like it wasn't too big of a difference, the probiotic that I was taking. And this was prior to me starting uh, 2.5 or the 0.25. Um, so the bloating is definitely there. Um, that is something that, you know, it does list that as a side effect on the paperwork. Also, the last, there's been a few videos where people talked about hair loss. And I did want to mention that. So that is actually listed uh, in the packet that you get with Wagovi as well. So hair loss can be a side effect of that. Now, I will say... Uh, typically when you're losing weight relatively fast, according to what I've been reading, that you can experience some hair loss. Like if you're losing more than two pounds a week, then consider that fast weight loss and you can, you know, have some hair loss because of how fast you're losing the weight. Now I told you guys once before that my weight loss comes off very slowly, um, maybe one pound a week. Now I know that I have I've been eating less, but I've not seen the scale move, which is typical because that's what happened the first time. However, um, I am noticing some things are looser than before. So I was losing inches the first time and my body is still doing the same thing this time. So um, just as a comparative tool. Uh, someone made a comment and I believe they work at an insurance company. Oh my God, when I saw this, I was like, my people. My subscribers, y'all be, y'all come through clutch every time. So I put out, you know, pause the screen and screenshot it. Um, but this person works, I believe, at an insurance company in uh, the department that does uh, prior authorizations. So I know that was a big thing. Like, how do you get your insurance company to cover uh, Wagovi? And so um, I mentioned to you, like, earlier in my, like, first videos that, you know, I, when I went in there, my doctor did not just automatically put me on Wagovi. So, like, I was struggling with anxiety and depression. So he kind of addressed those issues. Um, he had me go see a dietitian or a nutritionist. Um, it's just kind of tracking my workouts. Like, so we were doing some things months before I even ever tried uh, Wagovi. So it wasn't like, okay, you're overweight. Here's Wagovi. It, it wasn't that easy. Um, so that's another thing. Now, originally he did try to set me up with Ozempic because I was pre-diabetic at the time. And the insurance company was like, no, she needs to be full diabetic before we will approve Ozempic. So any case, I'm back on my, I got an email saying that the formulary had changed and that when I, so when I went to go look, I saw what Gobi was included. Obviously, I immediately contacted my doctor who was like, okay, got you. And, you know, submitted the paperwork for that. Um, so yeah, check that out. Hopefully that helps. Now, another thing, and I did mention like in one of my shorts that I noticed this time that I didn't necessarily notice before because I was dealing with the fatigue. Like I had insomnia, like my first couple of weeks is just starting to kind of settle down. But yeah, like I had insomnia 
really badly. And I'm like, what is happening? But I was really being mindful of any changes that was occurring in my body because I wanted to make sure that I, you know, um, that I take no note of that and that I'm able to share that with you in case you're having um, similar experience. Um, also, you guys know that I do have perimenopause. Um, and so I was struggling with that, but my hot flashes <laughs> has calmed. Like, I don't, I don't have a fan on in here. I'm not sweating. Like, what? Mm -mm. If I had a necklace, I'd be doing this because I'm usually doing this. But yeah, um, yeah. So the hot flashes have like reduced considerably. They're not 100% gone because that did take a while to happen. Um, but they are significantly reduced. Also, I'm just starting to notice that my cravings are slightly different. Um, not different, but they're they're going down you know, how you crave salt or sugar, I'm noticing that that's going down. So that's a good thing. Um, I went through the paperwork again with Wagobi just to see if there was anything new or different. And the one thing that I did notice was that I wondered, hey, you know, if you're on other medications, can this impact Wagobi? And so it literally says Wagobi, like other medications do not interfere with Wagobi, which I believe that is fantastic. I'm guessing because it works a different part of the brain. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that I wanted to mention that just in case you guys are on medications and you're just wondering like, hey, will this cause an interaction? According to Wigo or Novo Nordisk, um, that will not impact your Wigobi. Now, the last thing was um, it's been going around like on all these different uh, media about ozempic face, meaning your face gets hollow. Um, because you're losing all this weight in your face and, and I don't know why they call it an ozempic face. I guess because ozempic, I don't know why they call it an ozempic face, but, um, really if you're losing weight relatively fast, you are definitely going to see it in your face and your face can become hollow, um, and look a little gaunt. And again, if you're losing weight fast, that will have happen. So yes, my face did get smaller. Um, but I was able to retain some volume in my face. Um, it's probably starting to do a little, well, you know, I've been kind of arched out and kind of cut. Mm, 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 mm. But anyway, um, my face, I still was able to main some, maintain some volume um, because I think my weight was just going kind of so slow. But, you know, you know, it's okay. It's a journey. Um, so keep that in mind if you're losing significant amount of weight four or five six pounds a week you know but if you're bigger and you may have more to lose so i don't know the numbers again that seemed like some math involved and that's not my thing but just keep um, keep in mind let your doctor know if you're losing it too fast um so that might be something that you want to want to consider um another thing that i found out was you know people say how long can you be on wagovi well according to novo nordisk this is like a long-term drug you can be on it just as long as you can like when you're taking um per, uh, medication for like blood pressure um people are just on it for years and so this seems to be the same way you can be on it for years but i did mention hey other things that I knew have an exit strategy like some people need help in a different way which is that's what that's the beauty of science and medicine is that you can you know have that but if this is not something that you want to do just like uh, blood pressure medication you know there are some things that you can do to maybe reduce how much you're taking or maybe just kind of wean yourself off of it completely obviously you have to figure out what's right for you um, and your body you know along with you know consulting your doctor obviously because there's no shame if you feel like you need to be on a long term then hey do you what works it works um, but other than that um I'm doing okay. Um just happy to be back on it. Um yeah, I've got some new subbies. So again, appreciate you guys being here. I see you guys have been, and I'm looking down at my notes to make sure I haven't got anything. Making sure that you guys are um staying in those comments because I see you guys, you know, you guys are interacting, you guys are sharing information. So, you know, if you haven't, you know, open up that box called the comment section and you will find something that is going to help you. I guarantee it 
I guarantee it. Um, also, you know, if you know someone that may be looking to start with Obi, make sure you share this. There is a lot of information. And again, I talk about things that are going to impact not just me, but anybody that I know that may be um, thinking about taking this or that are taking it and have like all these questions. Again, I'm just some random woman on the internet and I'm just sharing my experience. Um, but yeah, I know, like I said, it was out of stock for a long time. Ogilvy was out of stock for a long time as well as Ozempic. And um, now, you know, the views are coming back in because people are doing what I was doing. They're getting educated about it. They're trying to figure out who knows, you know, who's who's what, like what's what, is this real, what happens, things like that. So um, that is pretty much it. I'm trying to I hope I... I'll give some more updates soon um, because I've got I've got one more 0.25 and then I'll be moving to the 0.5. But yeah, I mean the fact that I have not had any um, fatigue, I I'm just I'm done. And it's got to be the vitamin, like because what I mean, what else has changed, right? Anywho, uh, no, I'm not still not gonna be. Uh, prepping meals for a week because I'm just not gonna do it I mean I buy like the low carb um lunches that you can like pop in the microwave and you know fruit and stuff but I mean I just don't feel like it not because I'm fatigued it's just because I'm lazy I mean I don't want to do it so I don't act like I am but yeah that is pretty much it as always thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one bye